In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make a professional business logo for your company all by yourself using AI. You don't need any design experience and the whole process will take you from like five to 10 minutes. I mean, if you're fast, maybe even less. Studies have shown that 75% of people can recognize a brand from their logo alone. And 65% of customers prefer buying from brands that they're familiar with, which essentially means that a good recognized logo will bring you more sales and nowadays thanks to AI a good logo is no longer something that you need to spend money on it's actually the opposite I just watched this video about this dude that makes like 30k per month selling logos that he makes with AI so in this video I'm gonna show you step by step how I made logos for three different businesses using photo room but before we get into the video let's quickly discuss two important things why does a good logo matters and what makes a good logo a lot of the time logo will be the first point of interaction that your customers have with your brand good professional logo makes your business appeal trustworthy and it's especially important if you're selling online i mean your customers need to know that they can trust you right for many people it's often easier to remember visuals than text and a good logo is a foundation for a strong brand identity. And a strong brand identity equals strong emotional connection between your customers and your product. What makes a good logo? I identified three key elements, simplicity, relevance, and uniqueness. Your logo should be simple and as minimalistic as possible because simple logos are easy to memorize and recognize. Think about brands like McDonald's, Apple, Nike, they avoid details, they avoid any unnecessary clutter. You also need to keep in mind that your logo might be used on a huge poster or on a tiny Instagram post. So wherever you put it, it should be easy to recognize it. The ultimate goal for a logo is to make it so easy to recognize that you won't even need text. Although there are some examples of successful brands that still use text in their logos like FedEx, Amazon, Burger King, so it can work. However, there are also brands like Nike who used to have text in their logo, but with time, as the company became more recognizable, they removed it. Relevance. So your logo should obviously be relevant to your business industry, your audience, and your values. The colors, font, and image should reflect what your company stands for and appeal to your target market. So if you are a law firm, you should have a very strong, professional, clean looking logo. But if you're a toy business, you can get away with being more colorful and playful, right? The right color is something that is actually very important because colors evoke emotion and they can really influence how people perceive your brand. So for example, red is often considered the color of energy and passion. So think Coca-Cola. Blue is considered to be the trust and professionalism colors so facebook purple creativity photo room green is freshness and nature starbucks and finally uniqueness a good logo should be unique to help you stand out from your competitors so a good idea is always to do a quick competitor analysis a google search will do but two tools that i can recommend you are frederick ai it's an ai tool that creates a business plan for you and gives you a list of your competitors an extra tip is to try to create a logo that carries either a hidden meaning or a story to add more depth. For example, Amazon is a good example. You know that little arrow that points from A to Z basically implies that on Amazon, you can find everything from A to Z. You can find it all. Okay, so now when we know all that, let me show you how I made my logos. The first one is Japanese noodle shop. Why Japanese noodle shop? Well, because I love Japan and I love noodles. What you do is that you go on photo room, you choose AI images and you write a logo for a Japanese noodle shop. It's literally simple as that. And Photo Room gives you all kinds of suggestions for logo. But the number one mistake that people do with AI is well, giving very short prompts, like what I just did, and expecting mind-blowing results. The way you should think about AI is like, you know, talking to your best friend or explaining something to your grandma. You know, you you really sometimes you really need to get down to like details and 
explain every single thing. But I do think that sometimes starting simple is good just to see things in front of your eyes. It gives you ideas. So seeing this, I thought, okay, what do I want? What message do I want my logo to convey? Delicious, warm comfort, right? But at the same time, I wanted to be like a trendy, cool Japanese noodle shop. So I added black and white, simple, minimalistic logo. And as you can see, the results were completely different. And seeing the black and white version, it does look a bit more professional, but I realized that the color that I want to use here or experiment with at least was red i was like okay let's let's see what red will look like and i didn't like this tone of red so you can also customize that you can add dark red deep red light red play with ai generate as much as you want and every single suggestion that photoroom gives you is unique so that really helps you to you know get your creative juices flowing and to like understand what you're looking for i also wanted to see if adding text so so I came up with the name Sakura, um, which Photoroom kind of understood as maybe like flower. Sakura is a flower, I mean, cherry blossom, right? Uh, which was not what I wanted. So I was like, no mate, noodle bowl. And then I also try with the text above the bowl. And here are the results. Let me know what you think, but it is really that simple. If you struggle with coming up with ideas or you don't even know where to start, just use chat GPT. I can actually show you this with the next example. I created a logo for a gaming company and I'm not a huge gaming fan. I don't know as much about games as I know about noodles because I know everything about noodles. I eat them a lot. So just go on chat GPT and say, I want to create a logo for a gaming company. Can you give me ideas? for prompts futuristic theme retro arcade style so basically what you have to do is just copy the prompts that chat gpt gives you and put it into photo room and see what it creates i will also do like a quick google search logos for gaming okay i see a lot of death angels devil vibes a lot of neon, a lot of dark, a lot of purple and red, which totally makes sense, you know, energy, passion, creativity. That kind of gives me an idea to create the opposite or a combination. Like, let's do a logo for a gaming company that is combination of that, like, devil, bad, vibes with angel and let's add neon to it purple red blue colors here you can also play with the different styles option available on photo room i tried the freebie and the line art to see what would work best for my gaming company and here are the results let me know what do you think and the third logo I decided to create is logo for a coffee shop. For this one, I wanted to play with location. You can also add location to photo room. So I said a logo for a coffee shop based in Paris and photo room gave me all these options. Again, here, I wanted something more simple. I know that brown is a color associated with coffee, but I wanted something more unique to like stand out from the crowd, from my competitors here in Paris. There's a lot of competition in Paris, right? I know blue is not necessarily a coffee color but I like blue then I was like okay you know what there's a reason why we don't drink blue coffee and I went back to like more neutral gray tones I also really wanted the logo to be sleek luxurious minimalistic so I added all these adjectives when you make a logo you can also play with objects associated with your product so in this case objects would obviously be beans a cup mug you can also play with letters so I thought that the coffee shop can be called KJ like my name you know and here are my results let me know what you think a cool thing about photo room is that when you create your logo you don't have to you know create it in different size you can always do that later using our resize function resize allows you to create different versions of your logo for different platforms adapt the size so whether you need square for Instagram or horizontal for a YouTube banner or an actual poster 
you can do it all in resize. Now when you have your logo, another cool thing that you can do with AI images is creating marketing assets. Basically, you take your logo, you create like super realistic pictures with AI and you put your logo on top. If you want to know how to do it, I will link this video here. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have tried to create your logo with AI, let me know how it went. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we have many more cool videos coming out. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below and I will see you soon. Bye.